Radiant Team Pick. There's a lot more on leveling up the lane harass through both Gale and Sting, which can break down the flame guard, but for now, doesn't really have enough to deal with this, and he is pretty far from his bottle with this Boots first pickup. He might have to go Shrine soon. Oh, but they do have a setup on OP. Lil's gonna start body blocking him with an imp is. OP know what's up, but he is gonna be dove here. Does manage to get the chains out onto no one. Underneath the tower though, Solo comes in for the dive, and they do manage to pick up that first blood. Bulbaka, he's here to provide some assistance, but it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to get a return kill. Not too difficult to execute. Uh, but once again, he doesn't have the best pairings, right? Like, uh oh. Not too easy. Oh, no one's in trouble. He missed out on that slow. They're going to be able to get the smoke screen over the top of him. Very easy kill. Lil's going to be far too late to be able to provide the Chronosphere. Unfortunately for them, IG's lineup is actually really mobile. Yes. And has great potential for flanking. We're going to see actually a gank here on Pasha. Skewer back, brings the supports with them. The waveform does clip him, and they're going to dive him underneath the tower. Pasha is going to end up going down. So it's going to come in with a charge, but Bobica gets out of range of the tower. By using that blink streak. I kind of feel like when it comes to the, the mid-game fights that the DP will want to... Oh, actually, wait a second here. Solo, he really wanted to ward. And uh, he's going to die for it. And his ward is going to get countered, I'm sure, pretty quick. Yeah. For the morph lane. Yeah. Maybe he pops the morph strength, right? And he's like, yeah. he's going good, going good. They're trying to lay into him. Can't quite finish him off. There goes the swap. And it feels like this morph lane is just always going to have so much survivability against this whole entire lineup from VP that VP need to, to get ahead now, right? Ooh, Maybe solo, this, this charge. Could be big. This could be really OP, big. He's going to go for the DP out. Oh, one shot by Solo. That was a huge kill. Solo picking that one up. He's no pun intended. He is going to be blocked out here and doesn't have the tankos to be able to eat his way out. He is currently silenced, but that is going to wear out. He can hopefully charge his way out of here, but the nuke damage is going to come in too quick from IG. I like that TP rotation from Burning. They really did need that extra bur bit of burst damage. That area he got killed in is kind of the Dota equivalent of a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> he even got backstabbed, so very fitting. Oh, top lane, Omni. There's the solo chrono. And the charge's gonna be coming in just as the chrono fades. Perfect. Solo, Omni. how'd you time that? Really I'm positive here. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I even just the, I'm gonna double down on the negativity real quick, as uh, Ramsey's probably gonna die here, and that's a very negative action for VP. So, I think that's a great combination, but the problem that these heroes who have instead is that they're very, very ulti-dependent, very long nice cooldowns. Nice double slow there. That's gonna be able to set up Ramsey's. He actually managed to get the Chrono not actually hitting the Venomancer, but unfortunately, it also means he didn't hit Bobacon. Now the heal comes out. Ramsey's still full-on committing here as OP has no mana to be able to work with, and a nice RP coming out from our Magnus, holding these heroes in, but it's still a lack of damage coming out from DP. They finally get the nuke damage necessary, and they get Bobacon in the back lines. He was trying to go for Lil. XXS is overextended himself. He throws down a heal, but there's too many heroes. DP, overwhelming I IG, IG, we told you, you got to stay away from these team fights. V comes that big shotgun hero. It is still a bit concerning for VP that uh, I feel like every time I start saying something, and every <laughs> time Sindrin, Richard stop jumps, talking. Like, You're killing God. VP all the time. Void with Empower, of course, will be something, but for now, it's not that great. So a repelled hero. <laughs> Sindrin, stop talking, oh. man. You're going to kill him. Poor Q. <laughs> He's going to go down inside the Chronosphere. Well, this, really time we, this time, as Ramsey's time walks over, so Bobak right. is good. Just kidding, he's not gonna die. Oh, he's you crossed <laughs> him! Cinderin, come on! They were gonna let him go, and you started to down, and they give up on it immediately. VP can't even get that kill onto XXS, and now IG actually see the opportunity to go in. RP's down, they're gonna be able to pick up the Magnus. They put a hold on Roshan for the time. I'd avenge, but it looks like IG is just gonna be giving it up. Roshan will be claimed by Virtus Pro. Charge onto mid lane. Looks like they're actually still going to be able to pick up the pickoff on Q as well. Being burned up by the Phoenix. Pasha comes in to finish him off. And VP. Well, they're set up as VP. No one is actually completely alone. And this would be a kill if they were to go. I am very much surprised that yeah, the VP are just leaving him out there. Hurricane Pike being used. No one is going to pop that ultimate out. Looks like he's going to take out from the urn. And the charge across the map is coming in from Solo. Is going to be able to hit Q before the Magic Missile can come out, which means Nether Strike going to follow it up. And we'll have a one for one trade off. But it looks like, oh, Solo, that's a lot of damage already from Burning. Burning's not going to commit the most enough to finish him off again. Burning not really committing, he's just always poking. He is making sure 
that he never gets caught here. Bulbica going to stop that Nether Strike coming out from Solo. They still have him in range of the Sentry, though. Slowed down by the Purge. Ramses commits. In almost any role, Void should get this item at some stage in the game. Simply trust him the way to lock him to take fights. Immediate Supernova. No. OP. He's going to commit here, but Ramses is in the neighborhood. IG again making that read that they shouldn't stick around near the Supernova in case of the Chronosphere, but it looks like OP may still be caught here. Ramses is going to be diving on him. Q is going to be caught as well. Now this Q are back on the XXS. He's going to be able to get that additional kill. VP once again bringing five very quick to the battle. Outnumbering those three lives down. Are they actually going to go high ground here and see if they can force something? 40 seconds until OP's back up. Obika's actually trying to get a quick kill onto Lil. Lil turns around for a moment. Just one hit. It's all that's left. He turns around, throws it out. Obika's trying to get to him. He gets out the air, but it's a friendly. No chance at all of defending. There will be a buyback from Ricky. They'll try to slow down VP and maybe cancel TPs if they can. As Burning is trying to trade at bottom. VP don't seem to, seem to face, though. They're keeping back the Veno only. Smoke screen will now finally help Phoenix defend. as well. Yep, but this is still Rex. Good split from DP, sending the correct resources back to still get the barracks. And they'll probably just let Ramses finish this one off as well. Nope. Showing some respect here to the opponents, backing off. Man, Burning actually uh, dropped kind of low there. Morphing all that strength, the Phoenix burning him away with percentage. He did get the tier 3 bottom, so has opened up shrines and the split push possibility that if VP try again, next time they need to worry of nice and fast, like he was the one who immediately threatened OP after he jumped away. Managed to blink on top of him, then time walk into the pit afterwards. Oh, Q. Runs a little bit too close to VP's smoke. That pickoff isn't the biggest thing in the world for VP. It's a little something for them to be able to work with IG or time soon. And you can see this. Oh, the Chronosphere. They saw that opportunity with Sleight of Fist to be able to lay down the Chronosphere. And as he comes back from the Sleight of Fist, stuck immediately. Kind of has this game on his shoulders. And this Omni Knight is really rich, but we're not really feeling his impact in the game. No, we're certainly not. That's, I mean, he's kind of more Bobica. Threw down that ultimate. Now going to be charged up, though. VP. There is a Roshan up, too. Prioritized item for Magnus, but... They might just want the Greaves to be able to get out of fight tanks for the mag, perhaps. And obviously the armor is nice for the team, the heal. I'm currently just listing everything that Guardian Greaves does. <laughs> Q. <laughs> Gonna be caught by the charge here. Hits the magic missile. Can he get out of range? No, no he cannot. Nice Four staff. Still hits the nether strike. And uh, they couldn't stop burning. But at least IG, they don't really want to go outside their base. They want to maintain this high ground advantage that they've got but it is going to cost them the Tier 3 in the process. Clean them up, but he doesn't want to get in that position, so slowly but steadily, we're dealing there. Breaks the Lincolns there. Oh, we're going to go in. Jump in. Just Aha. Just kidding. Again, a little bit of a poke to see what VP do. Maybe they can force out a reaction. Pasha actually blinks away before the Magic Missile. Ramses jumps in with his Blink Dagger, but doesn't see the setup for Chronosphere. IG, very responsive to VP as they make their initiation in. But, again, they're losing a lot of ground here. The melee racks is going to go down soon. They now pop the Supernova. IG not going to address it. Actually getting caught inside the Chronosphere is uh, our burning. But Ramsey's actually rooted up at the time, so he wasn't able to deal any damage during that time. Now IG, they see an opportunity. Chronosphere's down. They're going to try and catch whatever heroes they can with that side device. They managed to pick up Lil, but he got his dive away just in the last second. No one actually managed to TP out as well. And the only hero that goes down is the Magnus. I thought for sure with that Chronosphere down, okay, they're still going to be able to get Lil at least, but no that they lost when the Phoenix went down. And but a smoke up from IG is actually going to run into Solo here. Bobica immediately pops his ultimate. He was a little bit afraid for his life. Sand goes down. Looks like they might be able to blow up Solo here inside. A little bit more damage. No one actually pops the ultimate in the back lines, but it didn't really catch a whole lot. Ramses comes in, looks for the Chronosphere. Q managed to get the stun on him first. There goes the size swap right as Pasha attempts the RP. Holding on to it, though. The two big team fight ultimates still not being used. They're just going to try and right-click down this support with the Supernova. The two cores of IG, OP and Burning, they're still playing around. Scare them off because they don't have this Chrono counter at all. They still are making a move toward it. This could get scary for VP, but... Burning. He's going to be the last one there. Get it in time, I think. Jump in, slide of fist, but... Okay, the age is already picked up, so this fight is going to see a little awkward for IG now. Looks like they're just trying to make an escape here, but with the level 25 picked up by Ramses, he's got that huge time walk. He's going to be able to catch XXS here, burns him out. 
big hero. That offlane hero is supposed to be able to help defend both the Ember Spear and the Morphling. So VP are going to force it. They're going to force the buyback out of XXS. And he wasted his Guardian Angel on that Diffusal Blade of Ramses. So won't even have that for the spike. And to dodge, OP is going to try and jump in though. Ramses actually gets the two-man Chronosphere. Where's the swap? They're going to throw it down. Help save Burning's life. And he's going to cost Q his own. Burning comes back in. Ramses doesn't really give a damn though. He stands and fights. But it looks like they forced out that buyback as needed. They still have their Magnus dead, so... VP, they kind of got everything they wanted out of that. I'm Ramsey Sith. Jumping forward there. Baited. Baited him, y'all near Angra Pill. <laughs> <laughs> got him. That's actually pretty significant to bait those two abilities, to be honest. Here we go. Ramsey's. Now he makes his jump in the smoke screen, the swap back there. Ramsey's deeper inside the base. He's going to be able to get the Chronosphere. Catches three this time around, all three of the cores. And that's going to be Burning going down first. OP as well is going to fall. And he does not have buyback, and neither is XXS. Oh, Ramsey's right on top of him. They're going to be able to finish him off. Posh in the back lines finally gets out the RP. It's out of support, but it doesn't matter. VP, they are overwhelming IG with pure numbers, and IG are going to call it. It felt like. This was coming. This VP win, they were choking out IG for so long. Making very little mistakes. No real positioning errors. They never